All right, here is the video guide for lesson 1.2.5. Again, going through the Desmos activity like we switched over to, once you click into that Desmos activity, it should bring you here. Now, the point of this lesson here is it's called the Shape Factory because we are going to work with these four shapes in the Shape Factory, and we're going to rotate them about midpoints, like you see in this picture. We're going to rotate it about that midpoint, um, or we're going to reflect it along its longest side or one of the sides to try to create as many new shapes as possible. So I'm like I kind of did in my last video for one, two, four. I'm not going to work through the entire lesson. I'm going to do enough to show you kind of how this needs to go. And then I'm going to expect that you can work through the rest of it. Okay. So it starts here by explaining a couple things. It explains midpoint, which again is just the point in the middle of a line is your midpoint. And then it goes into our task. So it just says we are given until the end of the lesson. Uh, we need each triangle in the catalog and determine how many new shapes can be created when rotated or reflected. So we're trying to get as many new shapes as possible by just using rotations and reflections on these triangles. Okay, we need to list them as we go. And then we're going to create a long list at the end of all the ones we created. So the first one is going to be the first shape in the catalog, which I believe is the half square. So I'm going to show you a lot on how we can do these with that half square, but I'm going to leave a lot for you. So you'll move into the activity and you'll see this right here. Okay. Now here, what you can do is use this slider to start doing your rotations. So I want to rotate it. Let's do 180 degrees. And then let's move that purple dot up and so that it's at the midpoint. And we have created our first new shape. So we go next, we have our new shape, and I want you to write I, or maybe it's up to you, you can change this, but with the half square, I created, and then maybe this, a rectangle. I believe that I created a rectangle there. Okay, I can then go back and see what, what else could I create doing this. And so let's try to, let's keep it rotated here, uh, but let's move it to here. That shape here, it's got two pairs of parallel sides. We got a parallel line there, a parallel line there, and parallels on top. So I believe there I've created a parallelogram. Again, on that one, I didn't even rotate. I didn't change my rotation. It was still at 180. And so all I did was drag my purple to a new midpoint. I started at that first midpoint, dragged it over to this one. Let's try the last one down here. That shape here looks kind of odd, but to me, it looks like another parallelogram. We got a parallel, pair of parallel lines there, pair of parallel lines there. And so it looks to me like another parallelogram. And so I don't need to write it again, but that too, that gave me a rectangle and a parallelogram. Moving on to the next one. Sorry, that's a half equilateral triangle, I believe. I think I was calling it a half square. Okay, moving it on here, we have the half equilateral triangle, and we're going to reflect it. Uh, we're going to try to make a new shape using reflection now. This one was rotation, we're going to try using reflection now. All right, so that was half equilateral triangle down here, not the half square. I wanted to reassure that there. And so here, this is kind of a funny one. That purple line is going to be our line of reflection. And so you kind of got to be creative with how you move it around. But if I move it to here, move the two points on the ends there, and I'm pretty much just reflecting that shape, then I'm reflecting that half equilateral triangle about that longest side I have created. I have created... Kite. And we'll try to do some other ones. We'll see what we can do um, as well. We could do this here. Uh, if I move it over just a little bit, and it might not be perfect, but that's okay. Uh, it looks like I have created an equilateral triangle. And again, if you don't know the names of them, you can look them up. You can look up different shapes, um, but a lot of us will know these ones equilateral, equal, I think it's equilateral, like that, triangle. OK, 
okay, then I go back and I see what else I can do. And I think you're getting the hang of what I'm doing here. If I go down here, it looks like I have maybe an isosceles triangle because it looks like this side length right here is the same length as this side length right here. So I'll go back and I say I made an equilateral triangle. Or an isosceles, sorry. I think I might have said equilateral there. Isosceles, something like that. Let's see what that tells me. There you go. All right, you get the gist of it there. So really, you're going to get those four different shapes. You're going to get a chance to rotate them about those midpoints. You're going to get a chance to reflect them on each side. And you're going to list all the new shapes that we can make. If you repeat a shape, you do not need to write it down. All right? But keep working through them. See how many shapes you can create. The next one would be the half square. And again, use your rotation. See what you can create. Okay? At the way end of the lesson, you'll work through all these different shapes. Okay? All the shapes in our catalog. And you will eventually get to the end. And you'll have to build a catalog. Okay? So in this box right here, I want you to list all of the new shapes you created. Okay? I'd like the name of the shape and a short description of that shape. So if you said you made a rectangle, it had two pairs of parallel sides, and uh, what else makes a, a rectangle a rectangle? It had uh, sides that two pairs of congruent sides. So I had two parallel sides and two congruent sides. Two pairs of congruent sides, sorry. All right, and then I want you to do your best over in this box here, and I want you to try to make your rectangle. So you can talk, you can kind of put together a small catalog of the shapes you created. Now that would work for me. I understand that that's a rectangle. Try your best with some of the shapes that you created to make them on the left there. All right, again, just like before, if you have any questions, please let me know. I'm happy to make individualized videos.